today's topic is courage. Every time that a fear of any kind comes into our lives, our instant reaction is to push that aside, to run away from it, not wanting even to look at it because it's just too much. I mean, the problem is that we don't even know how to accept and recognize that that in itself is a fear that we need to eventually overcome. One of the reasons that Swami Kriyananda says the importance of developing courage is for that reason, because our karma is going to come to us no matter what. Once Swami, uh, someone asks Swami Kriyananda, Swamiji, how do I know if I have overcome a karma? And he replied, when you don't fear it anymore. This was such a beautiful answer because we need to, you know, we think we need to do these grandiose things in order to overcome whatever little thing or big things we are afraid of. But Swamiji say, you know, just start by the first step, which is accepting it. And then move to your next step, which is to create another reality of your own making. Meaning that just move things around so you will allow yourself you know to start making little changes sometimes to do that outwardly it's very difficult because we are very scared or afraid of certain situations people and circumstances so swamiji gives a specific technique in order to practice first in little ways mentally within ourselves he suggests Think of whatever you are afraid of, perhaps animals for other people is heights, for other people is disharmony or a specific person or situation. And visualize not just that, circumstances, people or situations at your heart, but the feeling that you have while being in the heart of that situation. And bring that feeling up all the way up to the point between the eyebrows as an act of offering that feeling to the divine, like emptying yourself from that fear and visualizing that an energy of courage and strength is being substituted within you in your consciousness and trickling down throughout your body so you offer up the feeling that you have while you see yourself in that situation and then attract replenish yourself be bathed by that power and courage within you that eventually will allow you to face that mm, fear that situation outwardly so practice this in fact every night and play with those scenarios mentally until you come to that place where you feel so centered, so strong, with so much courage, that once that situation comes to you, you'll be able to face it courageously. Okay, so let's affirm together, first with a very loud voice, open your heart, Allow that energy to flow freely at the point between the eyebrows and repeat after me. I live protected by God's infinite light. So long as I remain in the heart of it, nothing and no one can harm me. I live protected by God's infinite light. So long as I remain in the heart of it, nothing and no one can harm me. Now in a regular voice, I live protected by God's infinite light. So long as I remain in the heart of it, 
nothing and no one can harm you. Now in a whisper, but keep your gaze uplifted. I live protected by God's infinite light. So long as I remain in the heart of it, nothing and no one can harm me. Now silently, mentally, only creating, attracting that energy of courage within us, I live protected by God's infinite light. So long as I remain in the heart of it, nothing and no one can harm me. Um, have a wonderful day.